is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Fool, looks like you're starting a brand new beginning. But with the fool here, I have a feeling that this is more than you. I feel this is someone else who's coming towards you, who's wanting to take a risk with you, wanting to take a leap of faith with you. And with the king of wands, it looks like there's someone here who's very passionate about you and they're looking at you with a lot of passion. They want you, they're zoned in on you and you're all they want. <clears throat> someone wants to take a leap of faith with you after an ending. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work with you. But again, I won't lie. Uh, there is teamwork here. There is collaboration here. But at the same time, this person definitely thinks you're someone out of their league. Okay. They know that they need to put in a lot of work to make things happen with you. They need to learn a lot about you. They need to know you in and out. Okay. In order for them to balance out the situation with you. But yeah, they're coming towards you with that league. Okay. They do. They want this, but they know it's a lot of hard work, okay? I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be easy, easy, lemon squeezy, okay? All right, tell me more. But yeah, they want to work with you on this, okay? They want to build with you. That is some serious talk, okay? With three of pentacles here. With the strength, looks like with the strength here, you're the one who's holding back here. You're resisting this person here. Because with the seven of cups, I feel that this person leaves you very, very confused about where you are or where you stand in their life. This person gives you those, you know, those mixed feelings, mixed emotions. It's like one second. Like, look, if the fool is here, it definitely means you're starting from scratch, which means there has been an ending out here. Okay. You're starting from ground zero. Okay, You're starting from level zero. And it's like a brand new adventure. With a fool here, let me tell you, this is someone who wants to take a risk, okay? Which means this the fool is usually someone who lacks commitment. Like they feel the fear and they'll still do it, agreed? But still, that doesn't mean that they have that commitment, okay, to make it happen. It's like, well, let's see where this goes, okay? So just a warning out there. With the strength here, I feel you're trying your best to stay away from this person, okay? Because I feel you're the one who's trying to resist your emotions from this person. You have a lot of passion for this person, a lot of emotions. Maybe you're someone who acts very impulsive every single time this person makes, you know, like every time their presence in, the, in your life makes you uh, go haywire, okay? Then uh, you're all, all your emotions are out of control. But with the strength here, I feel you're trying to tame the situation, okay? You're trying to give it your best to hold back from this person. I'm getting this person wants to start a new cycle with you. Like I said, right? After ending things, right? So again, what I like is it's not like, oh, like, you know, the ace. It's directly coming to the three, the three, which means that this is not a new person. Okay. But yeah, they know it's a lot of work and that could be one of the reasons why they keep, you know, copping out because they think you're difficult or they just feel that they need to do a lot. Of, they need to put a lot of effort to reach that kind of um, level of either emotional stability or the kind of stability and security that you provide them, it's kind of difficult for them to do that. Okay, so they know it's a lot of work. Ah, nine of pentacles. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. You have let go of the past. You've let go of what isn't working for you. You've literally, I'm getting like you've come to terms with the ending of this connection. And for you, it's like, um, I'm okay on my own. With the Nine of Pentacles, you're absolutely okay on your own. You're self-reliant. You're abundant. You got your money. You're financially abundant. You have that practical sense of stability. But yeah, you're definitely letting the past be in the past, okay? And when this person comes in or when they come to you, towards you, the resistance is from you. It's not. It's, it's nowhere else, okay? Because you're enjoying yourself, right? You're happy the way you are. You're happy where you are. You have that independent... Um, that self-worth, okay, you realize how much you love yourself and you realize that <coughs> in order for you to be in a relationship, you first need to be happy within yourself. And now that you're happy within yourself, you just don't feel the need to collaborate with anyone. You don't feel the need for anyone else to come in your life. And that's why you're trying so hard to stay away from this person. See? Law of attraction. You don't have to be practicing it. But yeah, whether you do it or not do it, that's just how the law works. You have a wish coming true, guys. You have the nine of cups here. You have a wish coming true. <coughs> Someone's coming in, all right, who's going to make you very, 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 very happy. I see two nines here. With 
which is new beginnings not the endings but new beginnings you know endings and new beginnings but it's literally like with the nine here of pentacles and the nine of uh, cups here you are very 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 close to achieving your 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups that's what i'd say it's like you've completed a cycle with this person so whoever i'm reading for i feel you've gone through an ending with this person okay you guys have broken up separation but a proper breakup okay this is not something there was no pause this is like a proper breakup that you had and now there's this starting from scratch okay from level 0 So, like I said, right? <clears throat> This is a new beginning here, okay? An opportunity, a little bit of potential for something, okay? But with the nine zero, there is something. There's some kind of fulfillment, and something's very close to come into fruition, okay? But with the strength here, and um, it's also a life lesson, right? Like a major arcana, which says that learn to tame your emotions, learn to tame the situation, don't give in, okay? don't give in to your emotions you know have that vulnerability learn to be vulnerable but at the same time learn to be flexible okay so you're being very adaptable right now to the situation you're not being stubborn which is very awesome the sun here okay see you have awesome cards coming in awesome cards the sun is again happiness clarity um growth success okay but with the sun here what it looks like whatever this person is whoever is coming towards you with this leap of faith even if this is not a person coming towards you even if this is you who's taking this new leap of faith taking this new step away from whatever happened in the past with the sun here it's going to give you a lot of happiness a lot of clarity growth success but there is definitely something here which looks to me like there is something going on to the next level here really <clears throat> Three of Pentacles is a very good card for a love reading because it means that this is someone who's literally wanting to sit with you. Like, let's work this out together. Let's talk. You know, let's build. Your resistance is quite justified here. Let me tell you that it is. Did a card flip? No. See. Oh la la! Two of Cups! Wow, wow! The magician was there uh, before I shuffled the cards. Also, it's still there after I shuffled, which means that there is someone out here who's hell bent on manifesting you back, Taurus. There is someone here who's manifesting you back. They want you back under any circumstances. Again, I'm not saying that things. Uh, I mean, this is someone you know who's just like going like, to come in and they're going to make things happen. I am saying that this person has the willingness and the determination to make things happen. They're manifesting you. They're taking every action that they can. They're letting it go, letting it flow, and they're putting in all the effort that they can. Okay, to make this opportunity work with you. And with the two of cups here, see that's what I'm saying, right? From the nine here, we're going again to the two here, which means things are. I mean, you know. Okay, now let me uh, make one thing very clear. Okay, from the nine, we're going to the two here. I would have preferred a nine to the ten of cups. Okay, which is like an ultimate wish fulfillment. I think you're going backwards. Okay, you're again going back to that same old fairy tale when this person comes in. Okay, so <clears throat> it's like you're so close here. to getting that stability out here okay but you're going backwards which means that again you're going back to that same fairy tale honeymoon phase so be very careful about that you've taken a lot of effort and a lot of hard work to reach this nine of pentacles here okay and that strength is not an easy card okay it takes a lot of courage and a lot of bold moves to to stay away from someone that you have a lot of passion for a lot of uh, emotions for okay so be very careful about that be very careful about that I would have preferred that from the nine. I'd see a ten, but again, see with the two nines here, you're going, you know, towards the two. So yeah, it's like you know what I'm getting. You're almost there, wanting to complete the cycle, but again, you're going backwards again. Okay, it's like you know, like literally, this person comes in, you guys broke up, etc., and then again, you know, you're restarting the relationship instead of completing that phase. Right, you're going back to square one. You know. At least it's not an ace, which I like very much. It is you both on the same page, that lovey dovey relationship. But two of cups is again, it's a fairy tale card. It's a soulmate connection, yes. But well, it's just how I look at it. Okay, so yeah, every time you see the two of cups, so yes, it is a relationship card. It is you both on the same page. But 
what is the need of having this balance when you already have been in a relationship with someone, right? You just want to take it to the next level, right? I mean, you're going back to the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Ten of cups, seriously, like, dude. Okay, thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Before I would have said anything more to Taurus. Okay, cool. I love this. I love this. And I still have the King of Wands here. You could definitely be de dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But there's definitely someone here who's hell-bent on taking action towards you, right? Okay. So what I feel is that this is how it's going to go. You're going to have a wish fulfillment. There's someone who's coming in towards you. Or this is all going to be like after you literally let someone go, right? And this is someone from the past. By the way, this is not new love. Uh, this is not new love. It doesn't look like to me to new love. <coughs> Okay, let's do this. You're going to take this leap of faith with this person. And there's someone here who's coming in to want to work towards you. Or you probably are wanting to work, work towards your own career, your goals, or just wanting to work on yourself. You have a lot of resistance and you have the strength and ability in you to make things happen. Okay, while you're single, right? And you're doing you with the, according to the law of attraction. You're loving yourself. That's self-love, self-worth, etc. That's when your wish is coming true. Okay, and with the sun card here, you're going to get all the happiness that you want, okay? This is a wish come true. This is success. This is um, problem solving. This is clarity. This is illumination to some sort, okay? Whatever it is, the sun card is the happiest card of the deck. You know that, okay? So there's not much I can say. And whatever this clarity is bringing in, it's bringing in the two of cups. That is your emotional happiness, that fairy tale love. Along with that, it's paired up with the ten of cups. So I like how it's progressing, okay? So first, it's going to make you happy. Then, well, because it's going to make you happy and give the clarity, you're going to move on into that fairy tale phase. And then you're going to get your ten of cups. Ten of cups, it is a relationship card. But along with ten of cups is an overall relationship and overall happiness okay so not only is this person wanting to be in the same page with you and balance things out but they want a family with you is what i'd say and all this is happening only because to me it's only because you took that risk you took that leap of faith and you're like you know what i'm gonna let it go let it flow if it's meant for me it's meant for me you know that's what you said you you told yourself i cannot fuck up anything that is meant for me okay and that's when you took that leap of faith and guess what with the eight of pentacles here this person is wanting to obsessively work on this relationship okay the emperor here there's someone here who's wanting to take control of the situation they want to Set in a structure, set in a routine, and whoever's coming towards you, Taurus, this time they're very serious about you. Okay, the Empress is Emperor is dead serious. You know what I like is that I don't see any wands here in the spread. Honestly, not like I don't like wands, but I don't prefer wands in um, a love reading because I'd like to see more cups, which is exactly what this reading is telling me. I like to see a lot of emotions and a lot of pentacles. That's if you're looking for a commitment, if you're looking for something stable. And this is giving me a very, very good combination of both. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. This person's coming in <coughs> to make things right. Okay. They want to figure you out. They definitely want to work on this for sure. Okay. Give me one last card. Give me one more card. See? They know. You know, so what's happening? They know that you've reached that point of being on your own. Five of cups here, okay? So this person misses you like shit. They've seen how good you are on your own with the nine of pentacles, okay? They see you someone who's worked so hard on your own. So they see you as, you know, someone who's uh, got this sense of belonging, you know, like you have this home and, you know, you're all of stability and uh, all the difficulties that you've overcome, right? The distances you've traveled physically, emotionally, financially, whatever, right? They see you as someone very, very abundant. Okay. And because of that abundant, they see that you have made peace with your past, which is them. And you're looking forward to the future. Okay. And that is very attractive, right? That's why the Nine of Pentacles is a very attractive card. Where these people, Nine of Pentacles is someone who has very high standards, okay, when it comes to their partner. Because they themselves are so, they know what they bring to the table. Okay, they know it, okay. And because of that, now they're a little bit, um, they're one stage below you with the eight here. They know, like I said, with the three of pentacles. Did I say that? From the three, they're getting into the eight, okay, which is an amazing side, right? Which means they're putting in all their effort, all their work, you know, to figure you out and to reach to that level that you are, okay? Because with the five of cups here, this person has a lot of regret. Like they literally feel like, they, they want to make up for this, okay? They want to literally like, um, 
they know you know it's like all is not lost in this relationship okay yes there is a lot of disappointment a lot of sadness the five of cups does come after a breakup but yes this person wants to uh, literally like you know uh, salvage from whatever is left and they want to rebuild with you that's for sure that's for sure if you're asking me for a commitment i don't see it on the cards as yet that's still going to take some time but yes it is it's got all the happy cards here if you're talking emotionally it's going to make you very happy the sun card very happy okay so um yeah but whatever i said i hope that makes some sense to you okay you keep doing you guys you know like taurus you keep doing you you're doing a good job and that is the only reason why you've attracted this person back okay and now this person is wanting to put in all the work to reach your level okay tell me what is the outcome that taurus can expect what is the outcome that taurus can expect out of this what is the outcome high priestess okay taurus i don't know how um I don't know if you want to give this person a chance. The Five of Cups can also be that you have moved forward or you want to move on and you don't want to give this person a chance. That's how I, I would look at it because we have the High Priestess here. This is you probably, you know, like uh, taking your own time, trying to trust your intuition, you know, trying to trust your gut feeling. I feel Taurus, you're wanting to give yourself time. You don't want to jump in head first, okay? And you want to see where this goes, okay? Not like you want to give this person a chance. You're getting into the relationship and wanting to see where it goes. It's more like you want to wait and watch, okay? Like how much longer can you wait or how much longer? You literally want to test the waters. You want to see how far this person can go in order for them, for, in order for you to give them another chance. I don't think it's going to be easy for you to give them a chance because we have the five of cups here. For me, it's like you're very disappointed, Okay. And um, probably even wanting to move on, you know. Give me one more card for the outcome. See, Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to go your way for sure, okay. But it's just that you're, you want to take your time. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which means that there is going to be some kind of change. This is going to be an amazing positive change. Something's going to be a blessing in disguise for you. What I feel is that this, whatever this breakup separation was, it's a huge blessing in disguise for you. Um... So yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune here, like I said, right, this is a positive change, okay? So you could be taking the next step in your relationship, okay? Or starting a new phase with the same partner, okay? So yeah, I mean, um, this can be a little difficult change, but um, it's an upheaval, okay? It's... it's um, it can also mean that, you know, that you and your partner, you know, are uh, literally shaking things up and making every changes that you'll need to improve your relationship. It could be that uh, a breakup could absolutely leave you free to move on to better things. But let's see, see the high priestess when it comes an outcome, right? This means it's, you are going to trust your intuition. So it's going to be a make or break situation and it's going to be in your hands, Taurus. This person's coming in, okay? This person's coming in, offering you the relationship, wanting that 10 of cups with you. It's a wish fulfillment. It's going to make you very happy. With the sun here, you're going to have the clarity, you know? whatever it could also be that with the sun here you have clarity whilst this person was not in your life you have the clarity that you need and you realize that you're okay on your own or you deserve something much better or this could just be this person coming in with the clarity that they realize that they want to work you know work on things with you they're ready to put in all the hard work and they want to take this relationship to the next level but with the high priestess here honestly taurus the universe is telling me that the outcome is unknown and it's going to be in your hands you're going to have to trust your gut your instincts and know what you want to do. With the Wheel of Fortune here, it's going to be in your favor. Whether you want to stick to this relationship and move it to the next level, it's still okay for you. It's, it's still in your favor. Whether you want to release yourself from this relationship, break up, and you want to just be free to move on to better things, it's still okay. Okay? Whatever happens, it is going to lead you to where you're supposed to be. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.